Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to enable pointer trails. All right, so we have our standard mouse here. Uh, not too particularly interesting, but for some people who have issues, well, they have trouble seeing, and pointer trails is a way of creating kind of a kind of a ghost image that allows you to locate the mouse easier. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. And the method to do it is really simple. We're just going to go down here to the bottom left. We're going to type in mouse settings. We're going to left click on that. And we're going to scroll down here to additional mouse settings. Before I do that, I want to note that the cursor speed is up here. If you need to increase that to be able to move across the screen faster with less distance actually moving the mouse, go ahead and do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click additional mouse settings. I'm going to go ahead and go over here to pointer options and I'm going to check the box that says display pointer trails. Now what happens is, as you see that there's now kind of a ghost of the mouse that follows behind it. You can create a short trail or you can create a long trail, but it will make the mouse easier to see, especially for those with like vision problems and stuff like that. I do, however, have an FYI and something you really, really need to know about this though. Uh, this can cause performance issues with certain computers. In fact, you may actually find that it causes a delay when you're inside of the Windows environment while it's doing this. Uh, it'll disable it within games and stuff like this. You don't generally have to worry about it, but you may find that enabling this and then you move around the mouse and you kind of just get this delay while it does it. And it can be kind of a nuisance to deal with. So it is something that is available if you need it to be available, but if you don't, I don't recommend using it because it creates a delay and can actually kind of be a nuisance when you're trying to use the mouse. So I just wanted to let you know that. Well, we're here in these options anyway. There's a couple of other really neat things you can do, like increase scrolling uh, speed. You can uh, in select the uh, pointer speed. You can enhance precision. Um, you generally speaking, don't want to disable this because uh, this really makes it a lot easier to use. This, when you disable it, feels more like you're throwing the mouse and then trying to catch it with like a like a catcher's mitt. So it's really just not all that great. Although I think certain mice might be able to take advantage of having that disabled. But I guess it depends on the mouse. Uh, Snap 2 will just kind of pick up the closest dialog box and click to it. Uh, Pipe pointer while typing, and yeah, some of this stuff is really neat, like so show the location of the pointer when I press the control key. This is another really good one in case you have somebody who's kind of uh, visually disabled. I am going to keep it disabled though, because as I said, there is, uh, at least with some configurations, there is a delay that can be caused and it's just intolerable unless you really, really need it. Uh, there's a couple other things you can do. You can change the pointer, the way it looks. You can change the way it acts. You can create a number of... In fact, actually, you can do a lot of stuff on this. But I'm not going to cover that on this episode. So I'll just leave you with this. If you need the pointer trail, enable it right there. Otherwise, I think that will cover it. As usual, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see on here, you know, just leave a comment at the bottom below. And I will absolutely try to get to everybody. Um... Otherwise, I will leave it at that and have a great rest of the day.